This is a Mead 4000 series F3.3 CCD focal reducer. Um, essentially, this is, you can think of it as a reverse Barlow. You screw it into the SCT threads on the back of a Mead or any other SCT telescope and it will reduce the Mead's normal F10 focal ratio down to F3.3. So it more than doubles the field of view and the amount of light that's coming in. Um, and this was designed a long time ago for Mead when they had a CCD camera accessory to make um, basically enough light come in for that CCD camera. So it can be used with any telescope that has SCT threads on the end. Um, I am using it with a Mead LX200. Um, this is a 12 inch model. So I have the micro focuser here, and I'll have to unscrew that to put this between the back of the telescope and the micro focuser. So in actual use with an astrophotography camera, you might omit the diagonal and just put the camera right into the micro focuser. So a bit of a problem I ran into is that with this, you know, 3.3 uh, focal ratio here, your focal depth changes a lot. So I was actually not able to get enough back focus to be able to use my Mead micro focuser. I had to attach the camera directly to the back of this um, focal reducer. Um, and then I was able to use the telescope's regular focus knob to focus it in. So here's a picture taken with this telescope with no focal reducer. Um, and here's a different picture taken with the focal reducer. As you can see, the field of view is much larger. So you can either lower your ISO or lower your exposure time or some combination of both when you're using one of these. All right, so apparently the Mead Deep Sky Imaging CCD camera has a very small um, pixel size and a very small image imaging sensor size because when I use this with my crop format A6300 Sony camera, there was an area in the middle that worked very nicely and then there was a lot of vignetting um, and the outside of my images, although it had some data, um, was much darker. Now I could potentially get rid of some of that using some light frames, um, you know, calibrate out for the immense fall off as I get near the edge of the image. But realistically, I think this is only going to be useful if you're trying to image things near the center of the field of view. And so the extra, you know, size of your field of view isn't really all usable. So I'm not certain this is going to give me any advantages over the 6.6 um, .6 focal reducer I already own, at least with the Sony camera.